Dang, look at that mutton snapper. What's up guys and welcome to the South Florida Fishing Channel. Today we're going to be making spicy mutton snapper soup and I'm also going to tell you how to catch one of these guys. Well, how I caught this mutton snapper. Bam! right there the lip candy jig so yesterday we were offshore in 130 feet of water this is right off the reef edge here in key largo all you do is drive about two or three miles to get to the edge of the reef there's a big drop off where it goes from 40 feet down to 130 feet real quick and that is where you drop these bad boys three fourth ounce lip candy jigs and i put a whole squid on it or i put the tentacles the tentacle and the head of the squid and i just threaded it on there all right squid on a lip candy jig goodbye squid and I drop that sucker down. Now when you're fishing 130 feet of water and you're drifting, so you want to just keep feeding line, keep giving it line. Like when you think you've given it too much line, keep giving it more line because you're fishing 130 feet of water. These aren't that heavy. It's going to take a while for them to get down to the bottom. Anywhere from maybe two, three, four minutes, depending on the current. So just keep feeding it line, feeding it line. And then at one point, this is what's gonna happen. Your line is just gonna start racing out of your reel. And that's when you know you done got swallowed by a big mutton. I'm on, on the squid with the jig. Squid, come to daddy. Here we go. Oh, it's a mutton. Look at that. So they're down there. Damn. Oh, it's 6.30 already? Oh, it's 6.30, yeah. Oh, wow. I sent the jig back down. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. So a jig with, a piece with squid on it. I can't believe that just happened. He's going for the bottom, but I think I got him off the bottom. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. That's gotta be a mutton. If it is, that's two mutton on the same piece of bait. I used the same piece of squid. <laughs> he should be getting close. He should, if he's a mutton, he should start floating now. I think that's a mutton. Boom, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's the one right there. There you go. Oh Bam! <laughs> On the lip candy jig. Nice. It freaking exist. All right. So these lip candy jigs, they actually come pre-rigged with fluorocarbon. There we go. Let me get up to the camera for this. So starting off, you have a snap swivel here, which is connected to about three feet a fluorocarbon leader, which then goes down to the lip candy jig. You can tie the snap swivel straight to uh, the braid coming out of your fishing line, whether you're fishing braid or mono. I like to fish like a 50 pound braid and then tie it directly onto this and then bam, that's all you need. Simple as that. Let's fillet him up and then make some fish soup. We're going to be using the head, the ribs, the fillets. We're going to be using it all. There is no waste with this recipe. Just cut up into their big head. Run your knife down along their spine. Out the back. Oh yeah, boys, here we go. Y'all ready for this? Now we're going to cut around the rib cage because the rib cage actually contains a lot of meat, which is going to be used for the broth of the soup. That's why we cut around the rib cage right here. And here we go. Boom. All this meat is going to be used in the soup and the filet also. I'll go ahead and skin this filet here. It's 
it's not the best surface to skin a fish on. But it gets the job done. Bam, and just like that, we got a nice mutton snapper filet. Boom, filet number two. All right, now we gotta prepare the body for the fish soup. So what I like to do is remove the guts. Now to do that, I'm gonna cut up the center of the fish here up into the gills. You also want to remove the gills. All right, you can see all the organs in there. What you want to do is carefully remove them. It's always better the less organs you puncture, the less of a mess you make, the better, always. Really open that chest cavity up. Now, my favorite way to do this is to grab the gills because the gills are attached to the organs. So if you can rip the gills out, the organs will come right with it. Okay, there we go. So I got all the gills. See that? Gills and all the organs come right out. You do not want to put that in your fish soup. And you're left with an empty mutton snapper. Look at all this meat. All this meat, all that meat. There's a lot of meat in the head here. There's a tiny bit of meat left here on the ribs. Not much, but, and yeah, that's it. This guy is ready to go into uh, fish soup. I do suggest washing him off though. Get all this blood out off of him and all that. So I'm gonna go hose him down and then I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. Holy crap, I am sunburnt. That's what happens when you catch a lot of fish. <laughs> Rolling? Yep. And we're in the kitchen. I got a big old pot right here. I got, uh, how many? 20? 22 cups. 20, 22 cups of water. So we're gonna, we're making the broth first. This is step one of making soup. To make the broth, you got your water, and then I'm just gonna add some stuff into it. Salt. These are big old salt kernels. Black pepper. It almost looks like it's not doing anything. Look how it looks on the inside. I'm just flavoring water right now. Yeah, that's probably fine. This is good for now. We can salt it more later if needed. Some paprika. All right, some, some paprika. What else we got here? Oh yeah, cayenne, because we're trying to make it nice and spicy. Ooh, yeah, holy smokes. That was maybe too much cayenne, but I don't care. It's, it won't be. Red pepper. <laughs> Got that cayenne on my nose. And last but not least, Old Bay seasoning. I need to sneeze. Don't sneeze in the soup. That's our seasoning for our broth. Oh gosh. Oh wait, we can't forget the main ingredient. The mutton snapper. Dang, he's yeah. huge. Yeah, you think so? Well like, oh man, it looks a lot bigger in person than on camera, I'm not gonna lie. But in <laughs> person, it looks huge. Yep, that's the mutton snapper that we caught. My favorite. And then we'll just put him in here like this like that and then we're basically going to bring it to a slow simmer for about an hour and then we're going to strain it and that's our fish broth oh by the way check this out my subscribers are going to go crazy for this ready who got a brand new stove top heiko did turn it on 
let it get real hot and I'll see you guys in about an hour. Got the fish boiling in there. Garlic, potatoes, a little bit of white wine. The soup is ready. It's been boiling for an hour now. More of a simmer, simmer boil. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to remove all the bones and like the skin and everything from here. So, you see this? See the ribs in there? Mm -hmm. So there is meat in there, but trust me, you cannot get this meat off. I've tried, there's thousands of bones in there. Here, I'll show you what the head looks like. Oh yeah. That's the head. Wow. So all the juices from there are in the soup. So just get all the hard stuff out of the soup. And all of this right here is going to go off the dock to feed the crab. You can see the teeth. Did you see the teeth on there? Oh my goodness. Zoom in real close. Those are little mutton snapper teeth. There's our bucket of strained mutton snapper. And then our last straining, we got this little, um, little metal strainer here. And, oh, look at that, it fits. So I'll just pour the rest of it through this strainer. Wow. We will lift this bad boy on out of here. That's all that was left in there. I'm gonna pour all of this back into the pot here. Here we go, it might splash, I don't know. Now we're going to add potatoes that I had already, that I have chopped up. Oh my gosh, okay, that's splashing a lot. Um, and then we also have seven whole garlic cloves and then i chopped finally chopped up another three garlic cloves now this goes back on the pot back here turn that back on bring that to a boil because the potatoes got to cook obviously and then while that's boiling i will prepare these are the two mutton snapper fillets oh my goodness I had two paper towels in there to soak up any extra moisture. Yeah, those look Looks good. so much bigger in person, I guess. <laughs> and since we're making a soup, um, I don't want there to be any of this bloodline that could potentially give it a funny flavor. So I'll just cut it right out. We should put some celery in there. Yeah, pause the camera. Caitlin was like, you should chop up some cilantro. I mean, redo it anyways. Caitlin was like, chop up some, um, I want to say cucumbers, but I know they're not cucumbers. <laughs> celery sticks. <laughs> so we got some celery sticks we'll throw in the soup. Oh my gosh, why does it splash so much? I chopped up the fish into like cubes, shoved those in there. Oh yeah, yes, yes. And then, last three things. A little bit of ore oregano, oregano. Just a tiny bit. And then a little bit of cilantro too. Tiny bit again. This is dried cilantro leaves. And then, last but not least, you take a little bit of white wine and you just Bedazzle it in there just a little bit. It wasn't much, just for a little umph. How's it looking there? It's so good. So you can see the, the fish is already cooking. It's already turning a little white. Yeah. Won't be long before we have a nice spicy mutton snapper soup ready. 
I got something to say. Mm -hmm. While we wait for this soup to cook, which should be done in about 15 minutes, the new South Fork, well, they're not really new. I've had one of these on my car for like over a year now, but they're finally for sale on the shop and there's three sizes. There's the little one, which looks great on like a, like Caitlin put it on her truly Zeltzer thing. Like insulated. Yeah, that's the little one. And there's a medium sized one, which would be good on a cooler or something. And then the large one, which I have on my car. So if you wanna get one of these stickers, now's the time to do it. Was that a good enough sales pitch? Ready? This light needs to be on, babe. Okay, yes sir. There we go, got, got the lighting correct. The fish soup is ready. It smells good. I, I'm not gonna lie, I already tried some. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was yeah. really good. A little ladler. The ladle. We have this fancy rose gold one, but it's so it's small. It's like a little narrow, yeah. It's too small. All right, so the fish actually did kind of hold its shape pretty well. I thought it was mm -hmm. gonna break up more. That's mm -hmm. good. That's great. I haven't ate all day, so. I don't think either of us have. This is a nice warm meal. Put us right to bed. I haven't tried the fish yet, actually, so I'm gonna do this sketchily on camera. But sketchily? Well, cause it's I got hot. this hot. It's hot on my hand. Oh, is it? Thick? Yeah. What? All right, mutton snapper. Let's see. Kaylin, you want a bite? Yeah, you want to feed it to me from here? Yeah, here you go. Okay. Is it like super hot? It's it's okay. Mm. Okay. Pretty hot, huh? Oh my god, it's hot. Do you need to spit it out? <laughs> That's pretty freaking good. Damn! I think I burnt like all the skin in my mouth, but it was uh -huh. really good. It's got a real nice Please. kick to it, like pow! That's delicious. We should bring some to Craig's house tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Tomorrow morning, we're going out on Craig's boat. Caitlin and I, Craig, Rachel. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone else is gonna be on the boat. We're gonna go offshore. Spicy mutton snapper soup, highly recommend it. I will be making this again. It's freaking perfect. It's spicy. The mutton snapper tastes great, real soft. Thanks for watching another awesome episode on the South Florida Fishing Channel. Aww. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Cheers, guys. Yeah.